the fuck? This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics, and this is the most interesting package I've ever received. Uh, this was not taken out of a box or anything. This is exactly how this comic was shipped. I guess maybe they have a... Uh, St. Patrick's Day sale as well, wherever they <laughs> got this stuff. But yeah, this is in green styrofoam that they taped together. So I guess it does prevent it from bending, but yeah, this is uh, quite different. So this is a book that I cannot believe I have now a second copy of. Uh, this is definitely what I would consider a Grail comic. I mean, if you do, that's up to you. It is a, a first appearance of a major character. But um, the first one I got, I could not believe the price I got for it. And I recently had it graded. And it came back a 2.5. Now this one, let me just take the tape off of here. Uh, this one I got even a better deal, and I'm just blown away by this. So this should show you, and they put it upside down, but let me zoom in a little bit. This should show you that, because I hear all the time in the comment section, I could definitely feel people's frustrations, that they can't get good deals, and they give up, or they say something's way too expensive, and there's no way they can get it. The one thing I could tell you is you got to stay positive. It's all about having fun because one of the things you'll know about eBay is you'll get plenty of opportunities that'll pass you by, whether it'll be just bad timing or the prices just ended up being bid way too high and it's out of your reach, uh, just wasn't the grade you were looking for or happy with. There's always going to be, for every one you missed, there's going to be 20 more that are listed the next week. So there's always time. And I tell people all the time, wait for deals and be excited about it. Have fun with it. I mean, if if trying to find a book makes you aggravated, then you may want to try and find another hobby. Because for me, it's like books like this, it took me 47 years of my life to get. So if I would have, you know, pulled out my hair for every day I couldn't get it, I mean, I'd be bolder than I am now. So the point is, have fun. There are always going to be deals, even on grail comics you've seen that with my um let's see fantastic 452 tales of suspense 57 and 52 daredevil number one two of them i got for amazing prices so let's show this book and you'll see the deal i got on this is amazing so now i have two of these and this will be getting graded this is action comics number 252 now, this is the first appearance of Supergirl and her origin. I recently, a couple of months ago, got one that I paid $585 for, which in itself was a great price. It came back at 2.5, which is valued around $900. And it was split from about here all the way up. Now, this one, the cover looks beautiful, but I'm going to show you why most people didn't bid on this. If you look right here... And right here, either a bug or a rodent got to this book and chewed all the way through. But the best part is, and there's a piece that looks like they might have started there a little bit, but that's just, obviously it didn't go through. But as you could see, it barely got to it. So for me, this is the worst part right here. But other than that, I mean, a dry cleaning will help this book. The cover, I mean, there's some wrinkles right here that don't break color. So pressing and a dry cleaning will help this book. I would say, and let me know what you think, even with this right here, I think this book still could get a 2.5, maybe a 3.0, because the rest of the book is beautiful. The staples are intact. The spine, I mean, look at that. For a book from 1959, 
you could see there there's a wrinkle, but that's not a color break. So all along here, there's a couple of little wrinkles that a pressing would absolutely help. But as you can see, again, the rest of the book, I mean, that's a pretty sharp corner for a 1959 book. So if it wasn't for that, this book would be pretty decent. I would say if this was not here at all, this would probably be a 5.0. But that does do damage. So it shows you gotta you gotta be careful where you stay, stack your comics. But here's the thing. Like I said, and let me know if you agree or disagree. I think this book, when I get it graded, and I will be sending this in to get graded, would probably come back a 2.5, maybe a 3.0. That might be pushing it with that, but I don't know because again, it's not like half the cover is gone. Just this little corner and a little piece right here. So let me know what you think about that. Now, like I said, the other one I got for, I think it was like $585. That was a great price for that book. I didn't pay $500 for this. I didn't even pay $400 for this. I got this, including shipping and handling, for $389.49. You cannot even get a 0 0.5 for this price. And there is no way this book is a 0 0.5. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to go through it and examine it a little bit closer. But they showed the inside of the book. They even showed the centerfold. The centerfold is intact. Both staples, as you could see, there's not even hardly any tears. So, unfortunately, if it wasn't for that, I mean, this would be a really great book. But I cannot complain for that price. So, I mean, this is about a $900 book that I spent under $400 for. And this is a major key book. So I want people to see that, yes, it's going to be frustrating. There are comics that you want that you maybe have out of your price range. And you, you miss an opportunity when you're on eBay or wherever you try and get your comics. Keep at it. It may take you months. It may even take you years. But if you stay with it and overall, I cannot stress this enough, have fun. You'll be amazed at how many books will find you. So please, don't get discouraged. I mean, like I said, if you're going to be aggravated and mad all the time about not getting a book, you may want to find another hobby because it's supposed to be about the love, the fun. And believe it or not, the hunt is just an exciting part of it as well. So keep that in mind. Because a lot of times it's the hunt, the anticipation of, can I get it? Once you get it, you've already fulfilled that. So you already know the answer. It's like almost like mountain climbing. The climbing is the exciting part. Once you reach the top, there's nothing but going downhill from there. No pun intended. So be positive with it. Look for deals. I mean, this is another one of those late night bids. It's it look on weekends sometimes, late at night. Look on holidays, special events like Super Bowls and 4th of July fireworks parties. Because, well, for, for example, 4th of July is coming up in another month. Everybody's going to be out, you know, looking at fireworks at night. That might be a great time to look for deals because there'll be less people online looking for bids. So put in the effort, put in the time, and just have fun with it. So with that being said, if you saw this far, show me what am I showing here. And it's actually a carpet blade. It's actually called a suicide blade. And the reason is I'll show you because it's... It's razor sharp. I mean, it's it's got the... This has been used so many times at this point. But when it's just out of the uh, the box and you put it in, it's as sharp as a scalpel. It's actually nicknamed a suicide blade. So put that in the comments section. And um, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's the surprise subscriber shout-out. Also, if you haven't checked the video I did a couple of videos ago, um, I found this website where if you purchase on eBay or any other places, you can get anywhere from 1 up to 10% off cash back on your purchases, including comics. It does vary, so it will switch depending on what promotion they're doing. The link is in the description. If you sign up and spend $25 or more before June 30th of this year, 2018, they'll also give you $10 bonus cash back on top of whatever percentage. So check that out if you haven't. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Let's do the zoom in. And let's give a big thanks to the rat who nodded on this book.